I'll be doing my my review of in game and out of the Belkin um, N52 uh, TE. Okay, before I, I go in the game, uh, basically I'm just gonna do the the uh, layout of it real quick, real quick. All right. So you got these buttons up here. These are all programmable buttons. You can you can basically do whatever you want with these. This little scroll wheel and it clicks. I don't want that. Um, you have a a D-pad over here. Sorry, let me get that up here. A D-pad right here. And, and there's space bar right here. And you can flip between um between you know profiles. See here. Okay. I just wanted to do that because I think it's fun. All right. So without further ado, we will now go in this game. I just hope I can get a game going real quick. Ooh, that was quick. Usually it takes forever just to get a game going. All right, guys. Gotta wait for this. Okay. So anyway, this thing does pop off as you can tell, and you can move it, you know, up for smaller hands. Which uh, actually uh, I kind of like that better. Okay. No, that's the same one I, I usually use. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, you you have two settings with this thing. One way up here, which I don't like because it's too cramped. And you can have one one slot back for bigger hands like mine. So uh, that's good. Um, my current class would be a ump silence, a deagle, uh, FMJ, uh, a frag grenade, and two flashes. Uh, perks would be Ninja Pro, Sled of Hand Pro, no, sorry, not Sled of Hand, uh, Dropping Power Pro, and Marathon Pro. I'll show you guys now. So, we're gonna go speed style today. Um, so, basically, here we go. Team Deathmatch! The hardware that I'm using right now is, is the actual, um, Rangers lead the way. keypad right now. And, and the Razor Mamba mouse. Change mouse and right now. So gonna piss me off. We're taking the lead. for you guys so you guys have any idea of how it should work. Ah, uh, I didn't see him. Enemy UAV spotted. Ooh, enemy UAV spotted. Target down. Anyway, um while I'm playing I can probably talk to you guys about it a little bit. Um, when you play with the, uh, the keypad, with the keypad, your butt, uh, when you push on the buttons, it feels, you know, nice, and it clicks kind of, so you, so you get that sure fire feeling that you, that it has been, um, you know, clicked, that's why I like it, if you guys can't hear it, um, but, uh, overall, I like it, it's really, oops, it's really, uh, 
it fits to your hand very, very well. Like when they designed it, they really made it so it's e so it's economic. I don't know what the term is. Uh, economically uh, friendly, I guess, for your hand. I couldn't hit him with the crap. Look, I did hit him. Um, what I mean, he says it though. Like you basically a gamepad. It is like one of those things where if you never used it before, you you wouldn't really notice it. But when you actually do use it, and you actually uh, you know put it for a bit, and you go back to the keyboard, it's a really uh, weird feeling. I don't know. It's just like you seem to have you know like a lot more control for the gamepad rather than a uh, a keyboard. I don't know. But that's just me. So my freaking D-pass things are pissing me off. All right, guys. Um, this is a uh, a Belkin. Uh, in-game review for the website Game Catastrophe. I am super six. I am super six one. Your reviewer. So if you guys can uh, comment, rate, subscribe on this channel, I can try and uh, answer your questions when I'm logged in. Or if you want, you can go on the website, go on the forums, and you can find out. Uh, and you can find the uh, text review of it. And I will try and get to you guys um, as soon as I can with the questions. Alright guys, thank you.